So my buddy Carl here is a Orlop bronze turkey, which means he's got the big, big breast on him. He was bred to be a meat turkey. And we kept him only because he was blind and he's really friendly and you can pet him. But he's getting to where he's so big now that he's unhealthy and the other turkeys are beating him up. And so I think we're gonna butcher Carl on Sunday. Towards the end of winter, Carl began to lose his legs where he would get outside, lose his bearings and kind of get stuck in corners or puddles. And so almost every day I was having to rescue Carl, but he was so big and so heavy that I would literally have to lift one foot at a time into that sled and try to tow him back home. Once the spring came and the weather turned warm, Carl was really struggling with the heat. He would just lay there panting all the time and I knew that he just was becoming more and more unhealthy and we just couldn't keep Carl for the long term because he was a meat turkey. If he had been a heritage breed with a small breast, we would have kept Carl as a pet forever. We put off the decision as long as we could, trying to be fair to Carl and make sure that his quality of life was still there. But we finally made the decision that it was best that we butcher Carl. We all said our goodbyes, and that was that. The windy Sunday came, and we got out the plucker and did what we had to do. Carl dressed out at 43 pounds, which is enormous, and I'll include a picture. Good morning, everyone. I'm headed to the barn. I gotta get chores done and get things fed. The kids got to spend the night with their grandparents, so they are not home, which means I'm enjoying the solitude of Mother's Day all by myself until the kids get home later this afternoon. Speckles, are you jumping over the fence to get in with these lambs and eat all the creep feed? Are you? <coughs> oh, you're denying it. I don't know, you look kind of guilty. Well guys, Tiny's still injured, so we can't put her back in with the toms, but as you can see, she came right over to the fence and laid down and is waiting for her man, but he is very concerned about the fence and struggling to figure out how he's going to get to her. Poor guy. It's a toasty, toasty day today at 25 degrees this morning. So I think we're probably gonna get close to 30 Celsius this afternoon. As you can see behind me here, right there, I have been um, rototilling my garden and I have marked out uh, two rows with twine that we recycled off of some bales. And I'm going to plant two double rows of peas this morning. We have some pumpkins, peas, peas, and uh, four rows of corn. So I still have to get my transplant tomatoes in and some cucumbers and some carrots. There's lots of things that I want to get planted today, so we'll see how much progress we get. It's slow going because there's lots of water breaks. Hey guys, we're back. We're we'll taking over Mr. D. He's uh, cutting up some firewood for winter, the big pile of wood that we had a little while ago. Here's another little guy. He's a little bit taller than my hand. So another, I don't know, five or six days and I should be able to cut enough asparagus for a taste. Oh, the exciting hum of an incubator. We're going to check all these eggs to see who is alive and who is not. And get rid of the ones that aren't growing into turkeys. So stay tuned. There's red in there and then yeah. at the bottom Mom, it's black. It's like white and then reddy color and then red. 
Yes, that's the airspace. Okay, here, hold the light. That one's alive. Four for four. All right, let's check this one. Yep, there's ah, one. Do you see how this one is? There's no turkey in there. This one might not have a turkey in it. Because there is an airspace. Like, yes. Like, it might be a little, little bit behind. We'll keep him for now. Is it the... Nope. Nope. This one feels heavy. Oh, there oh, is yes. one. He's got a good airspace, see? Now that's a turkey. That's a big one. I don't think they'd be that big. Oh, we're doing pretty good. So far, all of them oh, look like turkeys. Oh, that one has an airspace. Ah, see? Does it have an airspace? It looks like it has an airspace. Well, this one I don't think is... This one I don't think but is good. But it's darker down here, but this here, one. So, hang on to that. See this one. Oh, yeah, see that one. one? Yep, yeah. that one. Yep, yeah. that one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There. My Siberian pear tree. It's covered in flowers. This is the top of my apricot tree. It's only flowering at the top because I think it winter kills. Like the blossoms, it's just too cold here for it. And so all the action is at the very top of the tree this year. But I don't have any other trees that are like it that are flowering and so I doubt we'll have fruit again this year. We'll have to wait and see. If we sneak over here under the sneaky pine tree, you can see hiding in her nest.